Hello. An area of low pressure has become very slow moving on top of the UK. That's why we've had such relentless rain. Instead of giving us a drenching and then moving away, that area of low pressure has just sat on top of us, spinning around, bringing some heavy downpours. That low swung its way across our shores, moving in from the near continent, and then you can see the rain just kept on coming. Some parts of northwest England, for example, seeing more than 120 millimetres of rain in the space of 48 hours. And that area of low pressure still not moving away. Instead, it is weakening, it is loosening its grip. And so the rain that will come from the extensive cloud cover on Friday should mostly be fairly light and fairly patchy. And there will be some spells of sunshine, particularly down towards the south and the southeast of England albeit with the odd rogue shower and temperatures here up to around 19 or 20 degrees. Not quite as warm as that further north and west. And then through Friday night, well, this cloud should tend to break up as our area of low pressure continues to relinquish its grip. We could see some mist and fog patches to take us into Saturday morning and a somewhat cooler start to the day than we've been used to of late. But for the bank holiday weekend, it is actually going to feel quite warm, particularly where you see some sunshine. There will also be some sharp and possibly thundery showers. Saturday looks like this. One little weather feature trying to ease in from the east. Bit of uncertainty about that frontal system, which will then push in towards the west. In between, a slice of sunshine and just the odd isolated shower. This little weather feature may bring some cloud and some showery rain into some eastern parts of England. We will see rain into the southwest of England as well as Wales and Northern Ireland later in the day. But in the sunshine, Northern Scotland could see 20 degrees, 21 in the southeast of England. As we get into Sunday, this weather front will make some progress eastwards, but at this uh, weather front just tending to disintegrate. So instead of a big band of rain, It'll just be a breeding ground for showers to pop up. Hit and miss downpours, some of which will be heavy and thundery, but with big dry gaps in between. And again, in the sunshine, it is going to feel quite warm. Now, by Monday, most of the showers will be found across the northern half of the UK, from North Wales, Northern England, northwards. Further south, not as many showers, more in the way of sunshine. And uh, that is because an area of high pressure will be trying to nose its way in this little ridge of high pressure here, but it is not going to hang around for long. Instead, we'll see low pressure returning from the Atlantic as we head into Tuesday. So briefly, perhaps a spell of drier weather and some sunshine, but it looks like we'll see cloud and rain spreading into western parts later in the day. Temperatures generally between 15 and 18 degrees. Now, as we head deeper into next week, it looks like we could see another slow moving area of low pressure. This one wobbling its way in from the west and then just sitting on top of us, trapped in this dip in the jet stream. And if this low sits here for a few days, well, it will bring showers or longer spells of rain, probably not as wet as it has been over the last couple of days, but certainly an unsettled complexion to the weather through the second half of next week. So there'll be showers, perhaps longer spells of rain, but in between that, Still some spells of sunshine, and in that sunshine feeling relatively warm, high teens or low 20s Celsius.